Hello and welcome. Today let's talk about the Morini CM84E which is a widely used 50 meter free pistol and let's check out its important features and the trigger settings. So this is the complete pistol as you can see in this picture. This picture has the fitted long compensator in the carbon fiber version. Otherwise the pistol usually comes in a box which has the shorter compensator which you can see here. So let's check out the pistol. We can see the back side of the pistol. Here we should uncock it for safety reasons. And currently the chamber is empty. Here you can see the grip. The grip in this case has been custom made. But generally you can see the wooden parts. That would be the actual grip. You can see the trigger mechanism and the barrel. This is the small compensator that has been added. Otherwise there is another compensator that we will see later that comes with the pistol. You can see the front part of the pistol. And the other side as well. Here you can see the grip very clearly. You can have a good look from here. And this is the back side of the pistol. And you can see the back sides and the front sides as well. So you can have a clear look. Now let's move on the, to the toolkit. These are the Allen keys that we get. We get this compensator which comes with the pistol. This is almost similar to it, but the one that I've added has some discharge points and a lower recoil. You get another sight with the pistol and you can put the front sight in three different spots on the pistol. You can see that according to your preference. Now we can see the front sight of the pistol. Here you can see the barrel weight that can be added to the pistol accordingly. You can set the barrel weight anywhere on the barrel and you can set it according to your needs. Here we can see the chamber where the bullet is placed. This is the electronic trigger mechanism. Here we have switched it on and we can check the battery by pressing the indicator. So now as the pistol is switched on we can see the triggering mechanism. And we can check the light and to check the pistol is in good condition we can press and hold the button and do continuous trigger presses and the light comes on immediately so we can see the battery life is healthy moving on to the trigger here we can see there are two sensors on the trigger there's a sensor at the back and another sensor at the front which prevents accidental trigger firings If we try to press the trigger, there is a connection that has been made from the sensors. So we have to place the finger firmly on the trigger to execute the shot. And you can see that if we press the trigger from the bottom part, it will not fire. You can see the trigger going back and forth, but it will not release. So we have to place our finger in order to break the sensor line and only then we can fire the shot. So we can change the side settings from here and also the width of the back side from here. The screwdriver is provided with the pistol and you can use that to change these settings. These are similar to the Morini air pistol settings which I'll link. I've added another weight. You can add more weights to the front of the pistol or to the barrel according to your needs. And this is the lower part, there is a plate that covers the circuit of the pistol and you can remove the circuit which we will see in another video. Here these are the 0.22 LR ammunition and this is the actual bullet that goes into this. So in order to fire the pistol we uncock the mechanism, we place the bullet and we close it. 
and we have to turn on the piston in order for the bullet to be fired. You can add a long compensator as shown here. It increases the length of the front side to the back side. Now let's talk about how to change the trigger weight. So here you can see there's a small spring and you can change this spring according to your needs and you can set the trigger weight accordingly. Usually the medium size spring comes with the pistol and you can change the trigger settings with an allen key provided. If you put in the allen key as shown here, you can insert it and if you turn it clockwise, it will increase the trigger weight and it will be harder to pull the trigger. If you insert it and turn it anti-clockwise, it will reduce the trigger weight and it will be easier to pull the trigger. If you're not able to insert the allen key there, you might have to move the trigger shoe for which you can use an another allen key and remove the screw and just move the trigger a little bit forward. But be sure to remember where it was you can put a marker on it. You can also purchase a two-stage trigger separately for the pistol if you would like that. So these were the basic settings for the Morini free pistol for the trigger weight and an overview. Thank you for watching.